Hello, audience, and welcome to yet another episode of the Guild of Adventures. I am accompanied, as always, by Jacob as a DM, Gorza as Monroe Vieto, a Vidulcan wizard? I don't know. He's a researcher of some sort. I never asked his class. And I, Isaac Gutierrez, as Helene Crawford, an ex rogue slash pirate, and now fisherman slash researcher. And here we go. I hope you enjoy. All right, in that case, we'll be doing a, another adventure of um, our Pirates campaign. And welcome. I will be playing... All right, I'll be Helene Crawfitz. I am an ex-fisher who um, still uses her fishing skills to kind of survive out on the water, but has had quite a bit of fun making a bit of a piratey name for herself with uh, Monroe here. Hello. Gonna try and do something other than a... Uh... Deep, brooding, depressing teenager voice for this character. <laughs> oh, then would you like to use that voice to introduce yourself, Monroe? Ah, I uh, believe it or not, no, I would not, because uh, fuck you and I'm too busy studying. Exactly, and that is very fitting, Monroe, as we are a research vessel. Uh, our ship is called the Beholder's Gaze, and uh, we... We, this is a, a, only a brigantine, so it's not like a galley or anything too big. But we have packed it full of literally every free space we can for researching purposes from medical to uh, like a library. Even barely fitting in extra storage to uh, uh, take on research projects such as like uh, studying wildlife, etc. Literally all of our money. <laughs> the entirety of our money has been built around this ship and making sure and, that and and 50 extra gold of it went towards <laughs> drugs. not not drugs you're right not drugs under not our drugs under our storage of frozen fish is not drugs it is not, not if if just in case the feds happen to be listening <laughs> yeah. we are a research vessel and nothing more we are a research vessel of uh, only alchemy ingredients, and our alchemist, which is not named uh, Jesse, and does not um, make Walter, crack. Walter the White. Well, yeah, Walter the White. He definitely does not <laughs> make cooking for us. All right. I hate it. Okay, so being a research vessel, you guys came to the Free Seas. Uh, after hearing about a uh, certain legend, uh, a fairly common legend in the Free Seas, and yet no one's been able to successfully uh, accomplish what is needed to locate this treasure. <laughs> yet. Uh, yet. Or maybe never. Maybe we'll never, out. who knows. <laughs> so, basically, the legend tells of an ancient vault uh, in the center of the Free Seas uh, on the largest island of... Uh, three peaks and uh <clears throat> to open the vault you need four keys a uh, blue key a red key a yellow key and a green key and each key is said to associate with a different skill so you guys uh after a long series of research and studying and getting into some sticky situations have discovered the location of where you can find these four keys so, you guys are currently heading towards the Blue Key. Uh, you're sailing there now uh, on your ship. What all crew members did you guys pick out? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, we have our alchemist, uh, Walter Jesse White, or the White. Uh, we have a cook, because I bought us a kitchen. Uh, we have a musician to help keep, uh, you know... Uh, what's it called? Morale up. Uh, we have sailors. I just straight up got some sailors in order to make sure that we just had a functioning crew. Uh, a navigator, who is a navigator slash sailor. Historian, uh, which helps Monroe in the library. Um, a shipwright, who is just basically a sailor who I made sure had uh, repair knowledge. Uh, and then this one, it was just because we had a little... Uh, was, this was part of our purchase of the 50 gold worth of not drugs. Uh, we had extra gold, and we decided to get an avian. So I don't know if that's like Aarakocra, or like a shitty yeah, kangaroo. Yeah, it's just an Aarakocra. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then, uh, it would be an Aarakocra. Awesome. Then we just got an extra Aarakocra, who, like, we just pimped out with some bows and arrows. Cool. Alright. So, okay. So, do you have a crow's nest? Yeah. 
Oh, yes. Good question. Do we? Did you did you buy one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You, okay. Yeah. You can check the under brigantine is all our stuff we have. Sweet. Uh, the sailor in the crow's nest uh, shouts down to you and points into the distance. Uh, and looking straight ahead in the direction you're going, uh, there's a distant storm brewing with flashes of lightning. And uh, make, tell you what, make both of you make perception checks. Perception. I have a passive perception of 20. <laughs> Be a 18. Okay, so in that case, both of you can see, in addition to this lightning, there are flashes of arcane energy as, as this, like, powerful burst of magic shoot between two what might be ships in the distance. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't have HP. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I forget to have HP. <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> He starts choking. He oh, I've never had a life force. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's like Schrodinger's cat. You don't die until you realize it. <laughs> if he never brought up his HP, he'd never know. So, Got you. So, uh, let me what see. you guys do? Straight ahead. It's just on the edge of the horizon, so several miles off. I assume I'm driving just because I have uh, the proficiency in sea vehicles and like sure. a fisher. I was going to say uh, the navigator is driving no. otherwise, but if you want to drive, you can do that too. Um, you know what? Oh, we'll have the navigator drive. I'll be in the crow's nest with my passive 20 perception. Uh, so, right. that, so to make sure that we're uh, very prepared. I'll, uh, I'll start climbing down from the crow's nest and um, start walking down to the library to Monroe. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll like knock on the door. Monroe! Yes, yes, yes. Monroe, we got, we got a situation up. Define situation. I'm, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lightning and magic flying over the ocean. It's more your thing than mine. And uh, at the sound of uh, hearing magic, uh, from behind the door, you can hear like the sound of ruffling <laughs> like papers, and then the crashing of a few uh, maybe vials, maybe some other sort of glass. You don't some know. Some heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like a couple of, like in a couple low curses. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. Um, one moment. Uh, and, all, uh, all good. Oh, fuck. Where did I put that dagger? Um, uh, I'll, I'll be waiting for you up on the top deck. Yes, that, that would be magnificent. Thank you. I, of course. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start going towards the uh, our navigator <laughs> at the, uh, the helm of the ship. Excellent. Um, and I, as I get up... Uh, 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 Captain! Yes. Uh, you want us to sail straight into that? Uh, I think uh, let's let's go perpendicular. Let's not uh, let's let's try to avoid it. You want us to go around? Uh, yes, please. I I prefer to uh, observe it from a distance. How uh, close you want me to get? Uh, let's try to get as far as we can while keeping sight lines until uh, Monroe gets up here. And if he needs to get closer, we'll go closer. All right then. Oh, uh, thank and, you. Uh, he he starts to kind of turn the wheel, and as he does, the ship kind of tilts to the side as you guys are slightly off balance. You're mostly used to it, having been on a sailing vessel for so long. Uh, and you start to sail around this uh, this calamity, which is now significantly closer. Uh, it's still far enough in the distance where they're probably too distracted with each other to notice you. But you see several figures on both ships firing cannons, uh, and some people boarding, jumping back and forth, swiping with cutlasses. Can, can I get and a atop, magnifying glass to see if I can get a better look with details? Okay, you pull out a magnifying glass and it's just blurrier. Damn it. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Because that's here. not how magnifying glasses work. I mean, sorry, not magnifying glass, uh, a telescope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, make a perception check with advantage. <laughs> no, 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 it's a magnifying glass. <laughs> Uh, it's I. Really <laughs> uh, a twenty-nine. Okay, twenty-nine. So there yeah. seems to be a top. There's two ships: a galleon and a brigantine. And atop the galleon is a man in a blue robe with his hair whipping in the wind, his uh, arms held high into the air, and he seems to be di directing the lightning strikes and calling the wind. <sighs> Monroe, Monroe, come check this out. I like, to, like what? what? Yes, I'm. I'm here. What? What? Uh, like, put it to your eyes. Like, we keep switching between, like, my eye to your eye, trying to watch it. 
What in the di Why are we doing this? I have one of these in my fucking bag. I'm talking about what you see through the you know telescope. That scene? Yeah, no, you know no, that no, scene I'm... from Pirates of the Caribbean where uh, Barbosa pulls out his telescope and it's like <laughs> eight, 18 inches long? And then Jack pulls out his and it's like six inches. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he pulls out a telescope of his own and he's. Oh. That. <laughs> oh. Can. Uh, are, we, are we all? Are we? Captain, uh, we, we are, are, we, we're are going... we equipped enough to go closer? Oh, like, I, I mean, if you'd like to, we, I mean, we have three I, sails no, for I, a reason. I, I would most certainly like to go. All right, uh, I like to look at my... Because uh, of my Patreon. sailing knowledge, so I, I bought um, a ship hull to make us like a little bit faster, and I also have three sails. So, am I... Uh, how? Like, yeah, you guys I... can move... Probably faster than either of those two ships. So if you and were to could just be circling around each other. So if we were to like say, come in for an observation and leave, would would you say it would be so fast that they wouldn't be able to really catch up with us? You assume you could probably get away from them based on uh, most ships are not as agile as yours would be. All right, uh, all right, Monroe. Uh, you know I do this for you, and I'm gonna uh, gesture for the. Uh, navigator to get closer. Uh, all right, let's get, let's get about uh, a mile out. Let's get uh, a little closer, but be careful not to get too close. If it looks like we're in range of lightning, let's move off. Okay. So as you start to come up upon this uh, ship, coming closer and closer, once you're about three miles off, the w the waves start to get more and more choppy. Uh, then you're two miles off, and the wind is picking up, causing. Uh, loose objects to go flying through the wind and sailing into the ocean. As it, I'm going to start yelling for everyone to start strapping stuff down and uh, tell yeah, Mon yeah. Monroe to make it quick. Immediately, sailors are running all over the deck, tying things down uh, with ropes or leather straps. Uh, and then once you're about a mile out, lightning starts striking kind of just in front of your ship wildly. Uh, the waves are as tall as your ship now. And you're right. going up and down over the waves. You can barely stay standing. All right, let's start heading our way out. Monroe, get your sights. Get your notes. On our way out. Yep, let's go. Yep. God, where the fuck is that dagger? <laughs> uh, are, are you talking about the pearl one? The one that you use for... What? Yes, the the one that I use for show and don't actually ever do with. Yes, that one. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was... Uh, uh, I was... Uh... It's clean. You, you and, don't. You don't it, have to explain. It. Just, yeah. All right. Here, I'll just hand it to you. Uh, oh. uh, appreciate it. Yes. 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 And um, okay. you see. <laughs> yes. We're taking water. All right. All right. Get the ship uh, right down deck. Everyone, get buckets. I bought ten buckets for this reason. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad feeling. I was like, oh, let's get buckets. <laughs> I do, in fact, grab a bucket and start to bail water. Yes, and then uh, we'll start moving our way out. Uh, all right, I hope you got a good look, Monroe. And let's take a, a nice investigation check, shall we, real quick? Go for it. All right, let me see. I don't know about you, Monroe, but I'm rolling for an investigation. If you want to do perception I or whatever. Also do investigation. All right, uh, I have a 19. Make Arcana checks, actually. Arcana. Arcana, all right. That is not nearly as good for me. That is a... Hmm. 14 plus 6, 20. 20? Okay. Uh, uh, 16. I, I might. The magic at work here is clearly the, uh, is coming from some kind of storm sorcerer. Uh, you would probably know a bit about, uh, warlocks, and this seems to be a, uh, I do. Storm okay. sorcerer. Alright, so. A powerful one. Uh, so, uh, Captain, while we're, uh, I know this is a bit of an odd observation to make while we're sitting here bailing water, but, um, yes. I believe that type of magic seems, oh, no, it couldn't be, no, it wouldn't be a cleric out here. I believe it might be some sort of sorcerer storm in origin. I can't obviously point out what his patron might be or whatever is funneling said magic, but I know it's arcane in nature for sure. Uh, and so, since I'm not the magic type, could I, instead of doing Arcana, do investigation to investigate, like, if they belong to any guilds or clans? You 
at this point this this uh waves and the clouds and the wind are so bad it's you can't really see the other ships from this close all right uh the arcana check was just kind of sensing the magic that was flying around got you got you in that case let's start heading off uh to about let me see it was, it was relatively standable around two miles out let's get to about two two and a half miles out and we'll see if we can make any more observations of it and uh, if any anybody if a ship does go down, we can get leftovers. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. All right. So uh, it's probably been about an hour since you originally spotted the ship. Uh, you guys are bailing water. There is a uh, significant uh, breach in the hull from just the waves just smashed uh, part of it, caved a part of the ship in. Yeah. Uh, but quickly, some sailors patched it up and. Uh, you guys start sailing away now. Uh, the, the water causes the beams of your ship to creak and the wind whips at your sails. And once you're about two miles out, you can start to, it starts to calm down a little bit. And looking back, you see the actual storm itself is starting to recede. Uh, and as the kind of the clouds and fog clears uh, and the crests of water wash over the remaining ship, you see that the only one left is the galleon. Oh. Uh. All right, let's make sail and wait for the galleon to fuck off. I'd rather not make an enemy with that. All right, I say uh, right. set anchor and try to right, st yo. stick uh, stick your way back, and we'll we'll take a yeah, look see. after the fact. Yeah, you guys drop your sea anchors. Yeah, we'll, we'll focus on kind of fixing up our our ship real quick before we do anything. Sure. <laughs> we'll wait for the galleon to uh, do their looting, and then we'll try to check and uh, do some. Uh, notation of uh, and research regarding battle tactics and the uh, ship fight that we observed. Sorry. Uh, all good. So, basically, uh, while we're waiting for the galleon or the galley to like do their looting and then fuck off, uh, we'll, we'll stay a fair distance away and just try to repair any damage that was done to the ship. And then afterwards, uh, me and Monroe will make notes regarding. Um, like uh, sea battle and seafaring, like make note of the battle and the kind of tactics, blah blah, that were used. You have outcome. a historian, right? Yeah, we have a historian. Okay. Uh, you once you guys start kind of taking notes, uh, the historian comes up to you. He he uh he actually you can't find him for a while. Uh, but eventually you find him cowering underneath uh one of the uh tables in the library. Uh. And as he crawls out and kind of frantically adjusts his um, monocle, uh, he he's kind of he kind of has like a long goatee and uh, <laughs> hair that doesn't quite reach the top of his scalp, uh, and uh, he kind of just says, "That that was, do you know who that was?" Uh, no, uh, Lars. That's why we're trying to figure it out. That was the. That was what we're after. <laughs> Us? You, you mean the the man in the blue? Yes. I Fuck. don't think no, a normal person. I don't know. You have an arcanist too, right? Uh, yeah, we have a uh, alchemist. Okay, also a woman in a purple robe comes down. <laughs> our, our drug maker alchemist. <laughs> that magic uh, was not natural. Uh, what, no what normal warlock can cast such spells. Oh. Very Not that many in such quick succession. So we're dealing with the uh, super fucking. Okay, that's. Look, that would be the key we're after. Huh. Hi. Ah, shit. So either we're gonna have to stealth and sneak upon that ship and steal it, or we're gonna have to try to persuade or trade for it. There's one you... more thing. Yeah. I. Believes there was some necromancy at work. Ah, oh, well, that's just awkward. I, I sensed it, but I cannot tell the origin of it. Whether it what? comes from the ship or the sea or the already dead crew, I know not. That's uh, well, that's just fucking fantastic. That's 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 wonderful. That's just God, fuck, Ma I... wonderful, <laughs> magnificent, just. Oh, oh man. All right, uh, I think, I think let's do this. I don't know about you, Monroe. As researchers, we do our best work after the fact. Um, so why don't we, uh, 
wait for the galley to move on. Uh, navigate us, see if you can try to uh, keep an eye on them. Uh, see if you can mark where they're going and try to see if we can plot a course to follow. But first, let's go research and investigate the uh, remains of the battle. The, the wrecked ship, what's been done with the crew, and uh, maybe if there is necromancy, we can get an idea if they're using a skeleton crew, say if the crew's missing, the dead, or if their uh, necromancy was just merely used as a form of combat. So. And as, as you guys are saying this, you hear shouts of uh, excitement and fear uh, and wonderment coming from the top deck. Oh, let's go up. <laughs> That's All right. worrying. Coming up, uh, you immediately look around at the crew who is all kind of leaning against the side of the ship, pointing yeah. and shouting at the, where the galleon had once been, which it no longer is. Oi, right, what happened? <laughs> yeah, geez, it just... It just dived below the water. It just, it sank. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What? Oh, flying Dutchman. Bullshit. They finished, they finished, what? So, ah, just an old tale I read. Captain, do you think? I mean, if they both sank, we can just, we can just go, I mean, we help ourselves. <laughs> I don't think I they did. sank. I don't believe that they would have just sank uh, that seems I think a bit... they, they meant it's magic they meant to go under one of their huh Monroe that's that seems like the most likely situation and hey if we do end up being wrong which I never am I uh, like like they said we can just free pickings I agree let's uh how about we do this let's go about a mile off and then we'll take uh Monroe and I and let's say uh uh <laughs> What's a good, uh, what's the Eric Cocker's name? What's a good Eric Cocker name? Uh, Talon. Talon, and then we'll take Talon as our, our aerial view. Uh, we'll, we'll go and try to look around the wreckage. Oi, Captain. And, uh, the rest of you, if anything happens, you better keep my ship in peace, alright? Oi, oi, Captain. Thank you! Alright, let's get going, Monroe. Aye. Alright, let's get the, uh, the, you and, uh, Talon can take the, uh, two-person rowboat, I'll take my canoe. All right, you want to take the rowboats out to the ship, or wh yes. where the ship was? Yeah, we're gonna yeah, yeah, duck about a mile out. Take the rowboat. Uh, they'll take a rowboat. I'll take my uh, my personal canoe. I bought. Sure. So, pulling some dice. All good, I all don't good. like when you do that. <laughs> I, I would actually prefer if you didn't. It, it means something happens right. usually. Oh no. It would, it would be, it would mean so uh, much to me if you just stopped. <laughs> so you guys just kind of keep, uh, you start rowing out. Uh, since you're so far away, it might take like a half hour to get there uh, by rowboat. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys kind of sit together, stick tight, and uh, eventually you do get there. Uh, and it just seems to be an open stretch of sea. Uh, the only way you can tell where the actual fight took place is the distantly sinking uh, brigantine. Hmm. Well, see, that, that was what we're going for, a mile out from that, and then we're going to go into the uh, via rowboat to the brigantine. So. Yeah, yeah, you guys arrived at the brigantine. Oh, okay. Uh, then, let's see. Well, then let's uh, let's tie our boats. Not two, I guess. Uh I, I, I guess there's, yeah, we don't really want to tie our boats to the sinking ship, so let's just <laughs> hop on up. I'll, I'll take my uh, my fishing spear and try to use it to help me ping to the side and kind of climb my way up the wooden, uh, the wooden no, side. No, the ship's already below the water. Oh, uh, okay. You can kind of just see the end, edge of it as it kind of sinks into the blackness. In that case, I'll take off my coat, take off my extra weapons, only take my fishing spear with me. And uh, I'll hop in. I'll tie like tight, kind of around my waist, and uh, hop on in. Okay. How how long can you hold your breath for? Isn't there like a? Uh, a uh, way to yes. That, so it's uh, I believe uh, one minute plus uh, ten con? seconds. Oh no, a minute per con. Yeah, per con bonus. So it's one initial okay. minute, and then another another minute per con bonus. So like so plus one. Uh, so for me, I've it'll be plus three a... minutes. I've got a flat hour for the entire day to use. And I have right. uh, three minutes. Okay. Uh, 
it probably would take you a full minute to swim all the way down to it. Uh, what's, right. uh, what's your swim speed? Is it like 15, uh, I assume? 20. 20? Okay, so yeah. then I'll, I'll swim you dash, so it's 40. Uh, even then... I also have cutting action and all that, so I could do an extra movement, so a full 60. Okay, then I'll say you get down there in 30 seconds. Uh, Alright, not too bad. At which point, you guys are floating above this ship uh, as kind of planks float off of it, uh, cannonballs sink down and roll off the ships, think pieces and bits are rolling off and detaching, and several corpses are already starting to drift about. Hmm. So what's the uh, what's the banner of the ship or the the clan of the ship that sunk? Uh, you would recognize it as the savages. Of course. Um, does the ship have a name? Uh, yeah, it's called uh, the Severed <laughs> Okay. Uh, then I suppose I I kind of do my best mime work. Or I, I suppose we talked about this beforehand. Uh, is that I'm going to be looting, just trying to get my best to figure out looting. So documents, uh, stuff like that, going to like a captain's quarters to find a chest. Uh, and Monroe will do his own kind of research dive. <coughs> okay. And that's why I'll be doing the looting is because I only have limited breath, so I'm already going to have to be making trips up and down for air. Yeah. So might as well be bringing the loot and gear with me. Both of you make investigation checks. Oh, nice. Investigation. That's By the way, I fucked, uh, fucked up last time. Uh, I actually get expertise at third level, so I put that in investigation and arcana. Nice. Cool. So an uh, that's a 19 investigation. That is a 23 investigation. Ooh, look at ya. Plus nine, baby. Woohoo! And what'd you get, uh, Isaac? Uh, 19. Alright, sorry, I have to blow my nose. Let's see here what you found. Uh, Isaac. Yeah. You, the first thing that catches your eye is on the top deck, in fact, you both see this, uh, is a large cage, maybe like 10 feet tall, and it, it's a 10 foot cube, essentially. Can I tell? Uh, and is the, there edge, the end of it is uh, left hanging open. Is there anything inside of it? Yeah, so there's nothing inside. You don't see anything inside. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> hey, uh, Captain. Oh, right, you can't talk to me down here. Uh, I put my bucket on my head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shut the bucket. <laughs> oh, the bucket filled with water. <laughs> um, let me see. Do I have any spell? I might, because I did take a few spells somehow with my racial thing. Uh, nope. I Animal have... friendship and speak with animals. Nope. <laughs> I have no spells. Uh, yeah, alright, I'll just, uh, kind of gest- I I'll, like, like, nudge you and I'll look at you and, like, raise my eyebrow as I gesture to the open cage. Kind of like a, uh, huh? <laughs> I will go down and examine the cage. And I'll keep looking for immediate loot. Sure. Yeah, Isaac, you find, uh, 20 sacks of flowers. And uh, two kegs of alcohol and a crate with like bandanas. All right. And then uh, I, I don't know if you want to take all of that. Uh, I mean, I'll take the bags of flour and the uh, the alcohol because they're just freshly sunk, so okay. they can get like dried out and shit like that. Mm. Okay. Sure, uh, need some wet flour in the morning. <laughs> yummy. Uh, as for you, Monroe, make. Oh, no, you don't even need to make anything. Uh, there are clearly... The bars are bent in some places as if they were struck with a heavy object from the inside. Uh, and then the uh, there are some bones. Just like... They look like they might have been to like a small cattle or herd animal uh, that are just kind of floating around inside the cage. Hmm. Okay, I will... Instead of marking down bandanas, I'm marking them as fabric, because you can just sell them as fabric and, like, hankies and shit. Patron. And you can repair clothes. And then also, you would find... I'm guessing weapons. <laughs> okay, you find uh, a water skin. Awesome. Oh, wait, for just... the uh, the savages, they didn't have weapons and stuff on them? That could, like... Oh, I mean, 
Yeah, they're made of metal, so most of them sank, but I'll say you, you can find two short swords. I rolled really low. That's all right. Just uh, a few things that if, if need be, I can sell them off to help pay off the crew. <laughs> uh, as for kind of what happened here, based on your earlier check, I would say, uh, Monroe, you can determine that it, it seems that Knowing the savages, they likely attacked this galleon, and the galleon retaliated with deadly force. No, dude. Are there any? It's like a like a I don't know. Cap <clears throat> captain's quarters or anywhere that looks like maybe if storage looks like it has any like uh, chests that are extra locked up or anything that has not necessarily a value like money wise, but about like maybe information or stuff like that. Uh. Like I'll locked up scrolls or maps. I'll say you, you probably don't find any scrolls or maps on the mm. ship. No. You would know they don't tend to... They're not super organized. Mm. In the storage, is there anything like with... Uh, I, I'm trying to think like a savage. I would probably put anything that has information in the same place. I would put like valuables. So like is there any places that would maybe... Like like as my roguish tendencies. Could from, I think of any ways... From what you guys can see, this seems like a pretty simple trip. The savages usually don't have any agenda. They just go around killing uh, and looting. Are there any? Is there any gold? Like any piles of gold or main areas of wealth I could try to track down? Uh, let's see. You find 98 gold pieces total okay. among all the bodies. Uh, and that's just among the bodies. No, like, uh, I don't know, yes. fucking yeah, nook or cranny that might have other shit in it. No. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. That's the, the only questions I have. <laughs> Just writing some stuff down. Yeah. Monroe, what do you... Do you think there's anything here we can take? Like, is there anything else you can think of? Like, trying to tie a rope we... to the cage? Anything that could, like, spark ideas to take on the enemy? How big is the cage? One would assume if it was a whole cage with a person in it, we couldn't reasonably like take it up and with us i would know it's both done for sure. yeah I was gonna okay, say, so it's enough. probably just there um i mean if you've already <laughs> looted everything that we think is you know fucking valuable in any way <laughs> shape or form i think we might as well just uh, either look around for a little bit more see if we can really find anything or just call it a day and go back up yeah, I, I think I'm with you. If I can't really think of anything else that would be helpful, especially if we can't get any information. We're gonna we're gonna shit out of luck in that department. So I say yeah, let's head on up. Shame. 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 And I guess yeah, we'll head on back on up. And uh, as long as everything's all a okay, we'll go with Talons and go back to the ship. Okay, uh, as you guys come up, Talon uh, descends and lands on the edge of the rowboat and says to you, uh, I spawned that galleon again. Is it coming this way? No, it's, it's just, it's parked at the island a few miles that way. Uh, at any points, but you can't see it. What do you think, Monroe? Stealthy? Should we go stealthy and try to sneak on the island and steal? Or should we uh, persuade? What do you feel? Uh, well, you know, Captain, I've never really been one for my words, but, uh, Make right. a good little sneak every once in a while. Ah, it's been a while since I've gone to my roguish roots. I say let's steal. Hey, uh, Talon, thank you very much for spotting. Uh, hi. Um, of course, Captain. Uh, I'll toss him like an extra gold piece. Like, hey, tip, good job. Thank you. All right, let's thank get. You, Captain. Let's get back to the crew and start formulating a plan, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, we'll start heading uh, back to our ship. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys go back to your ship. Alright, everybody. We need to, uh, start kind of batting down some sails. Let's bring only one sail up. We're gonna start drifting towards the island. We don't want to, uh, we don't want to have a big, fast-moving ship. We're gonna move slowly. We're gonna get, uh, on the other side of the island. And, uh, let me see. What else could we do to kind of lessen our, our sight? Oh, put out the lamps until we get close. Oh, right, Captain. All right, and then we're gonna take our time if we have to, and basically kind of uh, only with one sail slowly drift to the other side of the island. Try not to attract attention. Okay. I'm a little worried about like reefing the ship, you know, like having it hit a reef. But no, I kind of, no. I kind of want to make our ship get really close to the island, 
Because I really don't want, like, to, to panically be rowing away as, like, they're firing at us. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the old Sea of Thieves treatment. The old Pirates of Caribbean 2 fucking running <laughs> from the natives. You did turn the ship around and ready the sails like we told you to, right? Right? <laughs> but Captain, we should run. <laughs> Why to answer? Alright. So, um, as you guys come up, uh, to the island, uh, it's a, it's an island that seems to have formed from a volcano, uh, Ooh. that may or may not still be active. Uh, Shit. the, the, most of the rock is obsidian and there's only patches of grass and a mud here and there. Uh, as for veg, like life, there's not a whole lot, a few bugs, maybe some rats scurrying around. Uh, Pretty good place to and hide a treasure, huh? <laughs> because of the volcano, it uh, obscures you from the opposite side of the island where the uh, galleon is parked. Alright. Uh, in that case, what we'll do is uh, I'll have everybody but me and Monroe be... Let me see. Make, not... Do we have anyone actually, who could be good with stealth? have passive stuff? perception. I do. As you're wandering around, kind of on the deck of the ship, looking at the island... You see two figures walking along the beach uh, on the side where you plan to park. I take out my telescope. Do they look like uh, the guy in the blue robe at all? Uh, you take out your telescope, and as you focus it, they they look like sailors, except off. There's something off about them. They're, they kind of stumble they dead? and drag their Zombies? feet. Zombies? And one of them seems to have a broken jaw, and the other Zombies? is missing an entire arm. <laughs> Zombies? <laughs> Are hey, we dealing uh, with a fucking undead ship, Jacob? Hey, uh, Captain. <laughs> so you know how, uh, <laughs> earlier they were talking about, you know, necromancy and all that? Yes, yes, I remember all that. Yeah, you, uh, I think we might be, uh, dealing with, uh, a couple of pirate zombies. God, I never thought I'd be saying those words out loud. But so, so instead of interrogating, what if we kidnap I'd... the buffoons and try to just kill them before they alert anybody. I mean, I, I, I don't really see a better plan. I mean... Alright. Then let's start getting this God, ship God, ready God. to park, and then I guess... Uh... Yeah, Captain. <laughs> twin, twin takedown. Yeah, twin your, takedown. Your historian uh, runs up holding a book. Cap Captain, did, did you say undead? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes, Laws. How, uh, how can I help you? By the gods. Uh, have you heard of have you heard of the bones of the ocean? The bones of the o- Lars, you could not possibly be inferring that. <laughs> We're about to- I mean, come on! I mean, maybe. Uh, I don't know. They tend to use undead. Ah, uh, you know what? For a quick refresher for everyone, uh, would you mind letting everyone kind of read off uh, what the, uh, the bones of the dead are about? Make sure the entire crew are prepared for this. Uh, oh, uh, yes. And uh, he kind of pulls out his book and flips through it and eventually starts. A, uh, a series of ships r run by necromancers, uh, casters, and legions of undead, r rumored to be capable of diving below the water and coming back up in a distant location. Well, boys, I like to look at the sailors. You saw them di dive on the water, right? They kind of nervously nod their heads. All right. Then, boys, get the cannons ready. Have all your can uh, move the cannons all, <laughs> all six cannons from the port side to the vow, uh, the vow, and we're gonna have it uh, facing the all twelve facing the uh, the island. If we get moving or you're about to be attacked, feel free to light Thank them you. up with cannons. Hi. All right. Uh, other than that, uh, Monroe, I suggest we do a double takedown and not get caught. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Captain. And as we pull up, I guess we'll pirate swashbuckler swing off the uh the deck with ropes and try to assassin's creed land on the undead yeah both of you rolled a hit <laughs> it's a 14 plus that hits okay i us see for seven uh and i will use my exploit weakness uh academic superiority maneuver to add a, what are my die at this level? We're level five, so my die are ah dog shit. A d4. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have uh, a 16 hit. Okay, that hits. Oh awesome. no, d8s. Okay, so 
Uh, would you say I get my sneak attack against these guys? Uh, I'd, I'd they, call them surprised. I mean, sure. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that's 17 damage. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find a fucking D another D6, my bad. I don't know. Oh, right, because this isn't even the right fucking bag. Cool, okay. Six, two, four. So, 12 damage. Okay, 12 damage and 17. Nice. So, as you guys drop down from these uh, ropes and land on them, you both sink your blades into their uh, chests and heads, but they remain standing. Hmm. Uh, oh. And then, immediately, Fuck. they retaliate. <laughs> So roll initiative? No, I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna go back and forth between you. There's no reason to roll. Okay. Uh, you did twelve. I did indeed. Okay, so they stand up and uh, as the um the one with the missing arm which Monroe landed on is going to uh pull a lop long sword sloppily out of its uh, back and uh, swing it at you. Mm. Ew. No. <laughs> that is a 16 to hit. That hits exactly. Alright. You take thir uh, 5 slashing damage. What? Uh, and pretty. then it's going to swing again. Pretty cringe. And uh, that one misses. And then the, the one, the other one is going to attack uh what was your Helene. name? Helene. Yeah, Helene. That is a... Uh, that hits. That's a 19 plus... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> four. Yep. Uh, and then that deals... Uh, 11 slashing damage. Wow. Mine actually and dealt it damage. And again. Which is a... Uh, that's another hit. Uh, 21. And that deals seven slashing damage. All right, see then. <laughs> and then it's y'all's turn. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What can we do to mess up these rapscallions, Monroe? Well, uh, tell uh, you one thing I can do. Um, I could do my dragon. I breath. actually forgot about, uh, I ignored an entire fucking, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm cool like that, and I uh, somehow managed to ignore arguably uh, the most important uh, aspect of my class, which was uh, my discoveries. <laughs> uh, <laughs> meaning, uh, <laughs> I fucking, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be looking through these for a bit, but uh, I know. I studied undead. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, what I'll do is, <laughs> since we're doing undead, let me do. Uh, my Breath of the Dragon, I'm gonna Naruto-style do hand gesture with my monk technique. And channeling my key as if it was like a, a little flame on the tip of a flamethrower, I breathe out and uh, send a cone of fire hitting both of them. They need to make a, awesome. dex, a dex save. Alright. Let's see. The first one is a 15. Second one is a 20. Alright, well, one of them fails. One of them... Uh, passes. <laughs> One of them just right. barely failed. It's barely. I'm so lucky. <laughs> or else they both would have passed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm rolling rather high. Yeah, goddamn like, zombies. I don't think I've gotten any rolls under 10 so far. Okay, uh, one of them will take four damage, the other will take nine. Okay. Alright, I, I believe I've done everything correctly now. Alright, so... Okay, they both are bloodied. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting. I am I have martial arts. I would like to take a bonus action to just punch one of the dudes. Yeah, kick, roll him, kick, him, kick, him, kick him in his undead dick. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let me see. That's right, baby. That's max. That's an extra seven damage to the one I hit initially. Okay. I'm double checking. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to remake this. Okay, I got fucking damn it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, how much damage? Uh, seven. From my, uh, seven. my kung fu. Uh, okay. So, uh, as you unleash this wave of fire, engulfs the two of them, singeing their clothes and burning their flesh. It makes this terrible smell. Uh, and then you run up and just clock the one with the broken jaw, uh, across the jaw with your fist, detaching it and sending it flying across the beach, where it lands in the sand, uh, sticking up, and you see a, the glint of a gold tooth. Nice. All right. uh, and then what about you, Monroe? Alright, so having uh, 
done some things, which include choosing all three of my discoveries, uh, adding a few proficiencies, and uh, <laughs> realizing that my character was all around dog shit. Uh, I'm going to take two attacks because I can do that now. Uh, with with a rapier <laughs> instead of a sickle because I have a martial weapon. Alright. Thank fuck. Uh, and then I will also expend another exploit weakness and use a critical analysis to do another d6 of damage. So this is... 2d8 uh, he analyzed plus 4 the plus 1d6 <laughs> yeah like I uh, essentially what he does is he like backs off takes a moment to study their weaknesses sees like a chink in one of their in one of their it's essentially like sneak attack but you know nerdy <laughs> it's like ah, <laughs> ah, ah. and so that is a kind of like the uh, artificer's brilliant idea yeah 22 to hit that and hits. then damage is Okay, because you want to hit the one with the broken armor missing jaw. Ah, uh, the missing jaw. All right. Okay, so that is. Uh, why the fuck can't I do basic math? Basic math anymore. Uh, apologies. So that is twenty damage. Jeez. Have to All right. To mark off both uses of those. Yeah. Uh, how do you kill the one with the broken jaw? Yeah, so uh, like he uh he takes a moment, studies, looks at his weaknesses, uh, and when you the guy their lack of a jaw, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> which of a jaw. offers which actually offers uh, access to the soft part of the skull. Yeah, so what he'll do is he'll uh step forward, a bit more brutish than usual, sort of uh like shoulder check the zombie, and then when it stumbles back, bring his rapier up, and then go directly into the brain and swirl it like fucking. What's Dicks. his face from The Walking Dead? I don't remember, but the only fucker that used a rapier. <laughs> All right. God, I need to go back and play those games. Yeah, so so you stick your rapier up through the top of its mouth, and then it falls limp, and you just draw your blade back out. Uh, and then the remaining uh, undead creature, the sailor, he's going to step forward towards uh, you. No. And... <laughs> no. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to politely decline that. <laughs> also, right. my new AC is 18, because without armor, I... got I've... a nat 1. Oh, magnificent. Oh. As it kind of stumbles forward and attempts to uh, bite you, it seems, uh, it trips on its own foot and falls face first in the sand. Uh, and <clears throat> Fuck off. <laughs> ah, stupid undead. And it's back to you guys. So it's it's still alive? Yes, it's still alive. It's just prone now. Cool, let's Bruce. just gangbang it. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just yeah, you, you guys <laughs> just start so kicking and stabbing, uh, and you just wail on it until it's just a pile of meat. Cool, I'm gonna grab that gold tooth. <laughs> Magnificent. Sweet. Yeah, just add a gold coin to it. Patron. Sweet. Ah, oh, awesome. So that means our we're out of initiative. Alright, Monroe. That was not too bad of a fight. I think we got this. Nah, nah. Could have gone without getting scratched, but... Oh, you know what? Actually, I lied. I'll give myself that HP back because my AC was supposed to be high. So yeah, no, ignore that comment. I, on the other hand, have been bloodied. Uh, I will just take a quick moment to do uh, nothing. Actually, uh, if you just uh, give me a second, Captain, and I will expend my third superiority die of five so i have two more for the day to administer age so you get uh 1d8 plus four nice i could use that <laughs> 11 you get 11 hit points back pretty much what i lost awesome all right we're good all right um nice. let's take like the their weapons and such and we'll toss them up to the ship so you know yeah, he has some extra weapons or whatever. So, uh, they had two short swords? Uh, they, they had long swords. Long swords, okay. Uh, awesome. Two long swords, and then, uh, we will start... Monroe, shall we start stealthing around and, uh... Trying to see if we can find their encampment. We might as well. Uh, I do say we should, uh, move the bodies aside. Maybe, you know, 
tie something heavy to him, toss him into the air, just get rid of the evidence. Ah, uh, yes. I can take care of that, Captain. All right, yes. As one of the sailors uh, jogs up. Absolutely. Make sure to uh, just dispose of them. Uh, Talon, keep an, uh, uh, keep an aerial view, please. Uh, alert anyone if any other okay. guards come by. And if any other guards come by, uh, prepare a, a, another ambush. Roger that, Captain. All right, thank you. I uh, I assume between all of you, minus the historian uh, and the musician, are able to put together a relatively decent ambush. Uh, especially you, Alchemist. I know you have some acid. Hi. Hi. All right. Monroe, let's get going, and uh, I'll start making my way to the bush and try to go yeah, around yep. the base of the uh, volcano. Yeah. So you guys want to start walking around the volcano towards where the other ship is, the galleon? Yes, sir. All right. So both of you make stealth checks. This is uh, not my strong suit. <laughs> Least stealthy rogue. Here we come. That's a twenty-one, y'all. That is a fourteen plus. Do I have? I do not have stealth proficiency. It's just dex. Uh, yeah, no, I do not. So eighteen. 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 Okay. Twenty-one. All right. Okay. So um. As you guys slowly creep around the island, sticking to like the large rocks and small bits of shrubbery here and there, uh, you manage to keep yourself fairly well concealed. And eventually the uh, galleon comes into view. Uh, and you see its gangplank is down and several uh, more of these undead are going up and down the plank towards the center of the island, uh, around a corner. You can't quite see where they're heading to. Uh, and... Uh, they, some of them are coming back holding bits of rope and uh, planks of wood and wax and crates and such. Uh, and the man in the blue robe is standing on the top deck, arms crossed, kind of just watching over all of it. Uh, if I take out my telescope, is is he going to do like a Davy Jones from Pirates Caribbean type thing where the key is like under his beard? Can I see, like, yeah, any... make a perception check. Awesome. Uh, oh, oh, key beard. Oh, Kibi, that's a, that's a fucking 29. Yeah, uh, you I have plus 10 notice a bulge uh, coming <laughs> from <Pants. touch. laughs> No, I was about to make that joke. Uh, <laughs> it, it's on his belt, uh, but like to the left under his cloak. And it looks like a, it's like the size of a football. Jesus. There it is, Monroe. <laughs> One of our keys. Ah, uh, Cat Knight Kaya. Uh... I can't really tell what the fuck you're looking at. Don't really, uh... Oh, uh, I'll yeah. work <laughs> hand it to him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do, you see, do you see his bulge? <laughs> do you yeah, see I, uh... his bulge? It's right there. I've yeah, seen plenty of actually, bulges in my uh, time. Actually pretty fucking, uh, emasculating now that I think about it. Uh, it's I, just uh, rather big. <laughs> don't, don't really, uh, know how I feel anymore. Uh. Bigger than your dagger. <laughs> As, uh, Monroe, as you have this, uh, <laughs> telescope lined up, uh, with the bulge, uh, <laughs> you, you pan up for a second to look at this captain, and as you do, he slowly turns his head towards you and oh, makes eye contact. You fuck. Hi, uh, hey, uh, captain. Uh, I'm Boy. already backing away from Monroe. Hey. Uh, uh, I've disappeared. He steps off gangplank and waves uh, for some of the undead to follow him. Monroe, and do your thing. Making his way towards you guys. I'll be here. I must uh, get his attention. I'm gonna stealth around and get it. What? Uh, do, fuck do you, uh, uh, right. My thing. Yes, that thing that I do. Exactly. Uh, I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> yeah, that thing. And uh, Monroe will fucking put the a... telescope <laughs> down. Stick a finger in his gill and make arguably the most fucking annoying sound known to mankind. It sounds like like a mermaid's call, but pitched up to the extreme. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's also like I don't know how to explain. You know that thing like a where like, it, it's where, like when horrible. you're ta when you're talking yeah when you're talking and you like start karate chopping yourself in the oh, throat oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, it's that yeah. the whole time yeah it's just really fucking annoying. <laughs> And uh, loud. They pick up speed. Awesome. Uh, can I? Am I able to assume time. that with my twenty-one in stealth, they don't notice me? They might have just noticed him. They don't seem to have noticed you. All right. Then I'm gonna try my best uh, to move around, 
and yeah. get behind the pack. So if need be, I can. My, my base, my plan is just, okay. just so you know, Jacob, uh, the kind of thing my character will be looking for. It's a moment to run by, snatch it off of him, uh, use disengage and uh, <laughs> fuck step you. of the winds to go and fucking okay. book it, and then fuck run to our fuck ship. You. So fuck you, whore. So, we yeah. like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the beach that he's on uh, is is fairly flat. Uh, you guys are crouched behind kind of a boulder and some shrubs at the moment, so I'll have to have you make another stealth check. <laughs> Fuck oh, you, boy. Boy. <laughs> like Fortnite. Fucking. Uh, that is not as. Good. Did you say he's wearing a bush? <laughs> what? I'm trying to figure out why he's saying Fortnite. <laughs> what? I said no. What? No, because that that's all I can think about when he said snatch it and run away. <laughs> just to start fucking screaming. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. No, but that is a uh, dog shit roll. That's only a 17 this uh, time around. I rolled the same thing. 21. Okay, I, I didn't need you to roll. I just needed him. Okay. 21. Uh, okay. Let's go full warbling. As, okay, so you kind of start creeping out. Uh... Because there's less things to hide behind, you have to kind of make a wider berth around. But once you're about perpendicular, so 90 degrees uh, from where you started to him, uh, one of the undead that's walking back and forth carrying uh, planks and stuff sees you, and it just kind of shout moans. Uh, and That was the, really so, good. Holy shit. <laughs> The captain turns and looks uh, and sees you now. And uh, I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative. Wait, hold on. So he saw <laughs> both of us? Yes. Well, yeah, no shit. I'm sitting here fucking warm. What do you mean? Well, I'm expecting <laughs> to see you, not me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That means I just got to step in the wind and get my ass in there. there uh, yeah, there wasn't really much to hide behind. Ah, we tried, we tried. Alright, in that case, let me check my initiative bonus. Yeah, okay. 16. Okay. Uh, that is a 12 plus 4, 16. Alright, you guys both got 16. <laughs> I, I assume your dex is higher than mine. Uh, you said, what's your dex? Uh, 18 plus 4. Uh, minus 16 I'll just have you guys three. go at the same time if you want to do, like, a combo what? attack. Oh, we could do a combo attack. I actually have an 18 in Wisdom, as a, uh, that's why my armor class is relatively okay. Mm, I have an 18 in Intelligence, also why my AC is okay. Ah, I see, I see. Alright. Uh, let me see. I'm- oh god, okay, my thing is, well, we should run. <laughs> like, just steal no, it and no, run. Really? <laughs> or at least be prepared to run. I want to know if he's going to try to capture us or kill us immediately. Probably I is. Pro probably. Let's just to be safe. Let's let's assume murder. Yeah, let's assume. I I, I kind of agree with that. I that's that's what's kept me alive to this point, and I. All right. Uh... All right. So uh, first up is going to be several of the undead. Not all of them. Uh, these that kind of start staggering towards you seem to be uh, not quite as muscular and well built as the ones you fought on the beach earlier. Uh, and as they stumble towards you, I'm gonna say three of them can reach um, Helium because he kind of started getting a little closer, and they're gonna make attacks. Wait, to who? You. Oh, you mean Helene? Oh, Hel he that's what I said. Is it Helium? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Does that doesn't hit? That's a five. That's a 15. Does that hit? No. And that's a nat 1. Okay, none of them hit you. Sweet. As they kind of walk up, you kind of back back up a little bit as they kind of just reach their arms out limply and kind of start trying to swat at you. Uh, and then it's going to be you uh, you guys' turn. Where's the, where's the big guy compared to us? The big guy is about uh, 30 feet from both of you, except he's like north... North of Monroe and okay. east of uh, Helium. So this and these the undead are north of both of you. All right, Monroe, we're about to piss someone off. So uh, here, here's works for me. Here's what I would like to do: is uh, run in my thirty feet, 
grab the fucking thing, disengage, dash out using a key, a uh, key point, and then uh, and then my next okay, turn. Mate, we'll so have... first up, you're gonna take three uh, attacks of opportunity from the undead right next to you. Ah, god damn it! That's, that's what I was gonna say, okay. Monroe. Could you Rocket, take care of him? You can take him. I was gonna say, hey, Monroe, yeah. could you could you take care of, or is there anything you can do to help me, kind of, with this, or do you have a better idea? Uh, anything. I well, how far am I away from them? From the undead attacking him, I'd say it'd probably be like forty feet because it's diagonal. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll move. And I'll do two attacks with my hand crossbow in order to get their attention. See if I can't get them to focus on me. Otherwise, right. I can't really. I mean, they're, they're still going to get much. attacked of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, damn. I can't really. Uh... Uh, is there. Wait, are you. Yeah. Would it be better if you ran to get that? I mean, I'm, actually, I'm the monk slash rogue. It might be. Yeah, better, you're but... more uh... dexterous than me, technically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in that uh... case. I guess I'll have to cop it. I'll cop the three attacks of up. You, uh, you got this, right. Captain. First one's a 15. Misses. Next one's another 15. Misses. Next one is a 22. That one hits. All right. All right. The damage. So you take... Four bludgeoning damage as it just kind of, like, socks you across your arm. Oh yeah, you got this. All good. Uh, and then you you break off from them. And then I dash to the man. I like to grab okay. the what well, I see. So you run thirty feet up to the man, make a sleight of hand check. Oh, literally one of my special. And he's gonna contest it with a. I'll I'll do I'll do it the same as a grapple, but you're rolling sleight of hand instead. All right, that'll be twenty four. This 24, is, okay. As a rogue, this is, instead of stealth, this is what I put myself into. <laughs> okay, well, he physically cannot beat that unless he gets from that 20. Yeah, okay, you, you, uh, nab the key. It's a small golden idol of, like, a, uh, mermaid with her tail coiled up sitting on a rock, and, uh, it's blue. Nice. Uh, then I will disengage with my bo my cunning action, using my bonus action, and then key point, which I just burn the key point, to... Fucking run back to Mon- Actually, past Monroe, because I have a 40 movement speed, so I'll be 10 feet past Monroe. So I'll be 40 feet away. Oh, Cat, and where you go? Oh, all right. <laughs> run, Monroe! Run! Come back here! Uh, I would like huh. to toss the idol to Monroe and have him go and do his full dash away. All right. There you go. Now you can use both your uh, movement and uh, your dash. If you want to farther. throw it to him, I'm going to need you both to- I'll-, I'll... Let's see, throwing it could be either athletics or sleight of hand, and then catching it would be sleight of hand. What do you think, Monroe? Because it's a fair distance you're tossing this. Yeah. Um, no oh, could I not like, pa like a football pass off while I'm running past him? Uh, if you're going back to the ship, you wouldn't really run past him, because the ship is to the west. You're right, okay. Uh, what do you think, Monroe? Should I just keep it and because I'm in, in the I, end, I I'll guess be running more. I the closest more. point you'd be to him would maybe be like 20, 30 feet. Okay, that is a toss, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I can catch it. Alright, I'll toss it so you can go another 60 feet beyond. Alright. Uh, we do sleight of hand. Uh, that will be. 18. Okay. Oh, I too roll slide of. Oh shit. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck! I thought it was just you when I said that. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you have oh it. god damn. Okay, never oh, mind. Hold on. Are you? It, it, it flies straight towards you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on. You don't gotta roll too high. Just catch it. Both hands. Come on. That is a eleven plus four, fifteen. Woohoo! All right, you catch it. Okay. All right, now run, bitch. <laughs> what? All right, you dash off, uh, and then that point it's going to be uh the more beefy undead similar to the ones you fought on the beach are Whoa. going to run up beside their master and take longbows off their shoulders and Wait, start oh, no. just so monroe is 90 feet away from them right uh yes and then you would be nice so i'm probably the one getting shot be? up yeah i'm only gonna be 40 it's, 
40, okay. Yeah. Oh no, that means I'm gonna be taking most of this. I hope I, I think survive. They can hit both of you either way. Uh, is it short bows? No, they're they're long long bows. Oh yeah, then they got him. He just said long bow, shit ass. <laughs> so I was just looking at my own inventory, trying to think of anything to help us. All right. Uh, so they're gonna target. They're all gonna target um, Monroe because he took the thingy. Go ahead, lick my uh, ass. The first one is a uh, thirteen to hit. That's a miss. Fuck you, mate. And then a twelve to hit. Yeah, fuck you, mate. Then a uh, six to hit. No. Nope. Jesus. Then a nineteen to hit. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's six piercing damage. Ah. And I, I dropped my D20 on the floor. Uh, oh, there we do. All right. Uh, and then a 16 to hit. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, that last one hurt. And then a 7 to hit. Nope. And then a 9 to hit. Nope, lick my and ass. And a 13 to hit. So nope. all these arrows are pelting the rock beside you, <laughs> breaking off the stone, sending bits of rocks and arrowheads flying about you. And uh, as this happens, one of them sinks into your collarbone. Uh, oh, it's a fairly deep fucking... wound, but you manage ah. to keep running. Uh, and then it's going to be the captain's turn. Oh, I'm a big scared. <laughs> it's going... Let's see. I'm trying to look at his spells here. Oh, good. Take a mile. Please, no. take all the time you need. I'm still uh, doing things with my character. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. This has gone way better than I thought it was going I've, to. Uh, I've only added a couple of things to my okay, character. Then he's <laughs> going to... Uh, that doesn't have enough range, so he's not going to target. So let's see, what can target? He's going to attack you, Isaac. He, uh, oh. Helium. Alright. Okay. Oh, you need to make a con save. Oh, well. Okay. Thank goodness this isn't Lavender. <laughs> he would do shit at that. Uh, that's a 21. And I that even rolled it with the uh, D &D D &D Beyond, bro. Lavin Lavender, funny enough, uh, he actually came up in uh, one of my more recent uh, Pathfinder Patron. campaigns, uh, where I have Sinezi as a primary character. Oh, cool. You take 12 necrotic damage. Oh, oh fuck! Fuck! That was, that was passing? Yes. What the fuck? Oh! As, uh, <laughs> this man lifts uh, his hand in this bolt of black and green energy, uh, arcs from it almost in the shape of a lightning bolt and strikes you uh, in the back of the head. What the fuck? So I'm gonna be moving literally quadruple movement next round. I need to get the fuck oh, away. Oh, I'm supposed to, <laughs> uh, supposed to have more maneuvers. As that happens, an arrow flies over your head from the other direction, from the direction you are running from, as you see uh, Talon standing there with Yo. his longbow, firing the enemies, and... Talon, not my boy! He rolled a nat 20. Yo! And Can I get him kills. the critical hit deck for that? No, I'm not going to do critical hit. I'm just going to give him an insta-kill. Oh, I'm sorry. On, <laughs> on one of the uh, zombies. So he unleashes an arrow and it sinks with the head of one of the undead. And then the undead zombies are going to continue crawling towards you guys. And then it's Joel's turn again. Cool. Uh, I do believe we are yeeting ourselves out of there. <laughs> uh, running uh, okay, with then. the force of God himself. Uh, that that end, scene from... I'll end combat there. I was gonna say oh, that I'm scene from there. Pirates of the Caribbean where they're running and behind them is an entire horde of fucking people trying to kill them. Yeah, that's us. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys round the corner of the ship. Uh... Uh, just FYI, I am moving 120 per round. <laughs> okay. I'm not moving that fast because I I'm a fish man. Hop on my back. I'm gonna make a few more attacks against you guys uh, as you're fleeing. Oh god, Talon, so, run back to the ship, mate! That's a miss, that's a miss. <laughs> that's a hit. That's a miss. Oh jeez. That's a miss. That's... Is this an 18 hit you, Munro? Uh, it does, unfortunately. Well, okay. What it's what's attack? Well, hold on, what's hitting me? Uh, a, a long, long boat. Oh yeah, no, there's no fucking way. Alright, yeah, that is. <laughs> okay, then. So you get two more arrows pelted into you. The first one is a uh, ten piercing, <laughs> this is, and the next one is nine piercing. This is a weird question, so and feel free to say And at that point, you now. guys reach the ship. 
Is there a way yeah, I could do ahead. deflect missiles as a reaction to try to catch his missiles? What's the range on that? Uh, oh, it hurts! 20, it 20 hurts. feet. I can react to up to 20 feet if I burn a key point. Cat him! Uh, sure. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna sure. burn a key point and try to catch it. Cat so what I do is um, I have to match their two hit. That's a nat 20 to match their two hit. Everything okay. hurts! Yeah, Alright, so take 8 of that damage back then. Uh, hold on, I have to actually roll to match. It's a lot to deflect the missile. Um, oh no, you're right, I do. And then I can just catch it. You're right, never mind. Th that's I forgot the damage part, so I want to throw it back. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, as this arrow flies towards him, you see it coming and uh, divert out of the way, jump through the air, and just kick it. Uh, you do like a backflip and kick it with your heel into the ground where it just sticks. I imagine Cat that's why. Everything hurts significantly less. But, ah. <laughs> I imagine that's why I'm not like significantly farther ahead of you. And, is uh, because I started doing that shit behind you. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Talon is flying above you guys, just unloading arrows uh, behind you as you continue fleeing. And eventually, you guys turn the corner and you see the ship. And you see most of the crew is on the shore, uh, hiding behind rocks and bushes preparing for an ambush as you instructed them to do I'm so. I'm going to yell, GET ON THE FUCKING SHIP! WAY SAM! <laughs> yeah, and then they see the horde of undead and the angry necromancer pursuing you, uh, and they immediately start climbing and scrambling for the boat. <laughs> the stealth wins upside! Let's see how well this goes. I did hire okay. a big crew specifically for this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the problem with the big crew is that it takes longer for everyone to board. Uh, Shit, you're right. So I'm gonna say it takes them probably two combat rounds to get everyone on the ship. Oh, so that's you right. have the option to leave, leave early if you want to. Uh, uh, did they set no, the I'm cannons gonna... on this side of the ship like I told them to? Yeah, they did. Cool. Fire! <laughs> As on the Horde of Undead! Fire! Uh, I'm just gonna start rolling then. Uh, if you, Monroe, if you like to, you can start instructing them to start getting shit ready. I'm trying to defend the ship. Okay. Yeah, uh, they sink a couple cannonballs into the Necromancer. How much health does he have? A couple cannonballs? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, then? That's some good damage, yo! That's like... Hold on, let me check the actual damage of the cannon. Okay, yeah, he's dead. 1610 <laughs> bludgeoning! Oh my god! Uh, yeah, the first cannonball just cracks the side of his, like, chest, and several ribs are broken on impact. And as he falls to the ground, the next one catches him right in the mouth, uh, just splashing his head across the rocks. But, uh, at that point, the undead kind of stagger and look around at each other, and then see you guys and continue charging. Also, we just have to handle the undead, that's fine. Just continue firing as they start, yeah. right, yeah. So then it takes an action to reload the cannon, but you have enough. How many sailors do you have? Uh, I have uh, uh, only three enough. sailors, but we have, uh, let me see, the navigator, the uh, the shipwright, and the avian, and I all have knowledge, so that's eight crew overall. Okay, okay then I'm going to say, uh, how many cannons did you have? Twelve. <laughs> not, not even Twelve? enough okay. crew for the cannons. <laughs> We're okay, gonna, then, we were gonna hire uh, gonna more crew, but they, we need more money. Gonna have to, they're still gonna have to take uh, the next combat round to reload. As you guys climb into the boat, the whites are going to continue firing. All good. We That's now have 20. half cover on a ship, so they can fire as much as they What the fuck? Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> miss. I even have uh, um, 18, walls. 18 hit? I, was, I have walls uh, in the deck that provide us half cover when we get on the ship. Okay, so then does an 18 hit you on the ship? Nope. I assume not. Okay. No, we all have like 20 plus, I think, with the uh, deck walls. Alright, then there's only one hit. It's a nat 20 on Halion. No. Yeah. That is going to deal. Good thing we're on the ship. I rolled low. Lucky you. Thank you. Eight piercing damage. Oh, okay. I'm fine. Whatever. <laughs> we're level five. Excellent. And as you guys climb on, arrows start piercing the side of the hole and just kind of sticking uh you guys start to pull away from the shore and actually the, no they don't pull away from the shore let's fire and like kill them we can get that galley okay well yeah, no, you pull I, away I enough don't they can't board you know if this one's a fight that we well, uh, well, well, we just go far away they're they're just firing arrows at us no 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 it's, it's far it's, 
It's fine. <laughs> Jacob, in my in my character's experience, if we go far away and they're just firing aerials while we fire cannons, and I have a hundred cannonballs. What's the what was the range on the cannons? Because these are longbows. I think they they have more range than the cannons. Just really? at disadvantage. That's funny. Because it's like it's. Let's see what the range uh, is. Let me check. Yeah, uh, it doesn't say on your thing, but it I, should say under the cannons weapons. Uh, cannonballs. Yeah. Oh, uh, range one hundred twenty to four eighty. So. It's like yeah, they have more range than you. They have up to 600. Alright, in that case, let's just pound them. Let's just stick in range and pound them with fucking cannonballs. We have oh, well. a lot more AC than they do. Okay, then. Uh, there... Wait, actually, before okay, I say that, how many so... whites are there? There's four whites and 11 zombies. Oh, and I'm guessing... Cannons can only target one person every two rounds. Oh, then we'll, we'll be good. We'll, we'll take him out in a few rounds. We have 20 plus. Only Basically, only crits hit us, right? You right. can. I, uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to sit here for a moment. And... I'm just going to roll to see how well this goes. Because I don't want to roll like 500 yeah. dice. Yeah, Heal up my own so wounds. For your ship, 14. For the whites, it's 18. Okay. So the whites are going to fell two sailors. Oh. And the alchemist, and, and then you guys kill all whoa, of the. Whoa, whoa, the alchemist? Okay. But his health yes. is so much. I can't. I can't. Take they a rolled couple, high. I Damn can't it. take a couple of shots for the alchemist. I... And then we'll heal the alchemist if try you to wanna, keep him I mean, alive. Okay, if you guys want to take some of the shots instead. Yeah, I'll take the shots. I mean, okay, yeah, so no, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck two shots each. Patron. Easy, I'll take it. Okay, first one's three damage for you, Isaac. Oh, easy. Uh, and then another eight damage, Isaac. All good. And then the other two arrows on Monroe are a five piercing and eight piercing. Anything from a boy? Don't worry, we can heal up. <laughs> you still lose two sailors, though. That's okay. That's fine. I can buy more. They're just sailors. <laughs> and eventually, uh, after a solid, like, Ten minutes of just cannon shots and arrows just pelting the deck of the ship. Uh, you guys have reduced the resistance on the shore just to a couple roaming zombies, which you can easily pick off with a few more cannon shots. Awesome, cool. Now we have a galley, and let's loot the necromancer and all his shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't mind me, Captain. I'm just gonna. Actually, I'll take a short rest first while my crew kind of. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll use, before we short rest, I will use my remaining two superiority die. I'm gonna roll my... myself up a bit so I don't yeah. my hit die yet. Oh, there it is. It's nice. Okay, okay so I used up all my hit die, but I'm, I'm good now. 35, and then I'll use one hit die. Call it a day. God, uh, I have to take a fucking short are, rest in forever. Just because I, I took this because I was hoping I could do this, um, is there any way I can do a medical check in our uh, in our medical wing in order to try to save my yeah, two sailors? Uh, sure, make a medicine check. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, let me you see have here. the establishment. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first one will be a 17. Second one will be a 16. Okay, you can save one of them. God, I Perfectly fucking fine. love martial characters so much. <sighs> I'm like fucking in there. <laughs> loser ass wizards fucking gotta wait Ooh. to take a long rest when I just got both my fucking critical analysis and superiority die back on a short rest. Let's go. Alright. Get fucked. And then uh, let's go. I'll tell the crew to kind of. He's gonna need a day to recover. Understandable. But, uh, I'll say he lives. All Remind me uh, with hit die. Is it is it the die plus your con or is it just yeah the die? die plus your con for uh, short rest stuff, right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then yeah. Die plus your con. Uh, All right. Let's <sighs> see what you find on the ship. I'm not at max, but I'm close enough. Make a perception check. I have a natural. Uh, I have a 20 passive. I have a fucking. Uh, uh, I have a 20 passive perception, 15 five. passive investigation, and 14 passive insight. 
Okay. Uh, would you like me to still roll? Is there anything I can get that's better with above a 20? I'm gonna say you find... Yo, Gorza, I made an auto grinder character. It's just fucking passive and I just have to say stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no rolling, just automatically see shit. Uh, 7-7 seven, seven off the hit die. It puts me at 42. Jesus, I'm only at 33. What's your max? 45. My max is 46. Ah. Get oh fuck you. And you have a higher AC <laughs> too. Okay. So you find a uh No our AC should be the same. I have a 17 AC. Uh how? I don't have an 18 dex, I have a 16 dex. Oh yeah, I have an 18 dex, 18 intelligence. Yeah, I didn't get a second 18. Cheap. Yeah. You find a small braid. A what? Uh, just like a simple leather braid that's about a foot long. Uh, and then you also find a uh, bracelet made out of what looks like it might be skin covered in stitches. Okay. Could and be a necromancer uh, magic. You find 130 gold. You find anything good, Captain? Eh, some gold, maybe necromancer stuff. I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, dibs? Yeah. Uh, weapons. What, what kind of weapons can we get? Cannons, etc. Not, like, not cannons, because we'll, we'll, we'll tug, tug you, about the you galley. Can get, I mean, you can get plenty can. How many cannonballs do you, did you have? I didn't uh, that. We have a hundred currently. I'm going to say you probably used them all, but uh, you can get back. I, I assume ten. more to the galley, right? Oh. They, they were resupplying. They ran out. Oh, got you. Got you, got you. Yeah, works for me. Works for me. Um, I have that, ten uh, cannonballs now. Right, how about the cannons themselves? Can we get any more cannons to toss in storage? Can I sell back? Uh, you don't really have the equipment to remove them or right. the equipment to transport them. So instead, we'll have to tug boat the galley, huh? I don't know if a brig can do that. You can't. Have you seen a tugboat? They they can do an entire like warships. Well, and they're a like, tugboat can. Yeah, yeah that's just, but they're designed to do it. You're in a sailing vessel. Oh yeah, but we're like uh, I got everything for speed and like pulling. Okay, fair enough. I'll say you you'd be going like super super slow though. That's all good. I mean, we're gonna sell the fucking galley and all the stuff on it. I, I'm pretty sure that's a big profit for us. Or even be able to uh, take the galley, sell the brigantine, and hire crew and expand our research. Does that sound lovely, Monroe? I I uh, already have wet my pants. So. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, uh, and then how about weapons like the the what the zombies had? How many sh long bows, short bows, swords, etc.? Uh, you find three long bows, uh, two long swords, and five short swords. Mo most of it has been smashed to bits by the cannons. That's fair. Uh, I would like to make a small change to my character that involves me adjusting shit really quick uh instead of just being a normal veldikin uh i would like to actually be a simic hybrid because that fits really fucking well with my background and i forgot that those existed okay yeah cool so uh your boy now has uh he looks almost the exact same short of the fact that he has uh uh, uh one what's, more thing you what's find. the word <laughs> You find one more thing, Isaac. Um, okay. A blood-stained, water-spotted leather tube containing a 60-foot-long scroll of fine linen uh, in a, written with a mixture of chalk and uh, some other white powder. And it seems to be written in Infernal. I do not speak that. <laughs> Alright, I will keep that for later. We'll toss it into the treasure. Um... As a thank you to the crew, I'm a, out of our 198 gold coins, I'm going to give them a bonus for the fight. Um, let me see. Because we only have yeah, we only have a few, so I can still do this and not lose tons of gold. Uh, I'll take 18 gold and give them a, each a two gold bonus for the fight. Uh, Yay! Uh, yeah, only ch thing that's changed is... Uh... 
Boyo now has, uh, instead of just, you know, his standard blue armor, he, or I said blue armor, standard blue skin, he's got like, uh, what's the word, sort of like, uh, like chitin over his joints, sort of like crab-like armor in some places, like around his elbows uh, and shit. Interesting. Which bumps my AC up to a 19. All right. Uh, as you guys come on shore, the historian walks up to you. Oh, I, you got it. Yes, we did. That's, that's excellent. Uh, okay. So blue, we, we need green, yellow, red. Uh, let's see. Green was... um. That's, Lock it down that tricky blue, one. That blue one. Green is in the possession of the, the Triton at the moment, so um, we'd have to kind of barter with them. I don't know how, how contracted you are with that. There's certainly no chance we could fight it, fight them to get it. Uh, then, um, let's see, Red is supposed to be in some kind of hidden hidden on this island uh, of uh, Castle, Castle Rock. Hey, uh, and then... Oh, from Stephen King's universe. I love that. That's such a cool name. Uh, and then Yellow, uh... Well, I don't know much about yellow. I'll have to keep doing some research. What do you know so far? Uh, I, I don't. I have a few leads. Uh, I'll have to follow them, but um. Fair enough. Then, uh, if you like, let's um, we're gonna be tugboating this. So if you'd like to kind of relax, get everything together, plan plan everything out. And, uh, in fact, of course, of course. in fact, if you like, you may move your stuff to the galley as we are tugboating for the next week. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll stay on the ship. All right. Uh, and while we're tugboating, uh, only the basic crew who is, um, needed to kind of like sail it, uh, I'll be having sail me and any extra crew that I can get will be trying to clean out the galley and make it look good. And maybe the shipwright will help me kind of fix it up. All right. Would you so, mind uh, sending me the, uh, unless you don't want to, uh, and you, like you're about to do something, if you could send me like, the galley's information and character details, so I could like mark it off. It's just a default galley with eight cannons on either side. Okay, thank you. Uh, and then, where do you guys want to go next? Triton <sighs> uh, or Castle Rock? We should. Uh, let's first go to the nearest, like, port town, so we can handle our affairs. And then I have a question... Sure. A question for you, Big M. Yep. Do you want to be a captain of the brigantine and I do the galley, and we just hire a fuck ton of crew? And we do a Pirates of the Caribbean style that, since we don't have enough gold to pay them, we say that they'll get grand riches from this adventure. <laughs> just fucking lie to <laughs> that like they will get grand riches and as you no, know, I, I like that. I like that pay style. <laughs> like, hey, so we can't really like pay you up front, but uh, when we inevitably, you know, do make a fat profit, you'll get your share of it. Yeah, yeah, so you'll it's get a pretty good business model. Well, yeah, well, we'll pay. I mean, it's a pirate business model if you can. Yeah, I mean, if not, we can always just uh, abandon the brigantine and using that money pimp out the galleon and also. No, honestly. With, uh, with, We'll be fine without a second ship. Fuck it, let's... Just pimp yeah, out the galley? Scrap, yeah, scrap it and make our current ship better. Alright, we'd like to uh, head to the nearest port town. Uh, hire, let's say, four more sailors then? Maybe five more? What's the what's the minimum we need for the galley? Fifteen. Uh, should say, uh, yeah. Okay, then I'll hire another thirteen Ooh, sailors fuck. with what money we have. Yo, can't wait to play again. <laughs> I should probably save this character sheet before I get off. Ooh, that, that was almost a fucking wreck. If you enjoyed that episode, then look for more at youtube.com slash wolfer28, Spotify at Building a Guild of Adventures, or if you really want to watch us record our stories in person, or maybe our DMs write for our sessions or build maps, join us at Twitch at the Guild of Adventures. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.